Get famous enough, your life and legend are no longer your own. Now you've entered the realm of myth-making. And in the Old West, nobody was mythologized quite as much as Wyatt Earp. Of course, Earp wasn't the only outsized legend of the Old West, and many of them actually made up their own legends. Wild Bill Hickok, for instance, reportedly once entertained listeners with increasingly impossible feats of daring do. When one newbie asked, How did you escape, Bill? Hickok smiled and said, quote, I didn't. I died. Buffalo Bill Cody was pretty much a walking public relations firm, as he was constantly adding things to his autobiography, many of which were of questionable veracity. Jesse James would send newspapers his own press releases regarding the crimes he'd commit with his brother and their associates, and Bat Masterson, one of the more colorful characters to emerge from the American frontier, became a journalist later in his life. He crafted a series of profiles of other prominent Westerners, and even got his own TV show after his death. And then there's Wyatt Earp, the lead officer in the OK Corral shootout, riding hard to clean up the West. At least that's the myth. Funny thing, though, much of that myth came about towards the end of his life when Earp became friends with a bunch of people in Hollywood, the best myth-makers of all time. But what was the truth? Well, first of all, Earp wasn't single, despite what Stuart Lake wrote in the first biography about Earp, Wyatt Earp Frontier Marshal. In fact, Earp was legally married at least once to Eurilla Sutherland, though she died after just one year. But Earp also had at least three common-law wives after that, most notably Josephine Marcus, who stayed with Earp for 47 years, years they mostly spent in saloons and in search of fortunes through mining, real estate, and horse racing, rather than enforcing the law. Then there's the myth of Earp's gun, the Buntline Special, a Colt peacemaker with a 12-inch barrel which was a gift of gratitude from dime novelist Ned Buntline. Earp supposedly used the gun at the OK Corral, but like Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and King Arthur's magic sword Excalibur, though, the Buntline Special may have been a piece of fiction, as there's no evidence Earp used it at the Corral or anywhere else. And the gunfight? It didn't actually happen at the OK Corral anyway, just sort of nearby. But the gunfight kinda sorta near the OK Corral isn't quite as catchy. There's also the myth that Wyatt was a cold-blooded killer, a murderer on behalf of society, gunning down cowboys stupid or drunk enough to pull iron on him. In reality, though, Wyatt's preferred tactic was to walk up close and then buffalo the cowboy, which means he would slap the cowboy with one hand while pistol-whipping him over the head with his handgun. It's not that Wyatt was afraid to shoot, he just preferred not to, according to the Encyclopedia of the Great Plains. Your friends might get me in a rush, but not before I make your head into a canoe. You understand me? He's bluffing. Let's rush him. No. He ain't bluffing. Oh, and then there's the fact that at the time of the OK Corral fight, Wyatt Earp wasn't actually the Marshal of Tombstone. No, it was actually his brother Virgil Earp who held the job of Chief of Police there, while also serving as Deputy Federal Marshal for the area. Virgil deputized Wyatt for special duties from time to time. After Virgil was ambushed and nearly killed in an attempt to get revenge for the OK Corral shootout, Wyatt was appointed Federal Deputy Marshal in his place and led the famous Vendetta Ride to get vengeance. Finally, there's one last myth that can be laid to rest. Given he spent most of his life in and around saloons, most people assume that Earp was a big drinker, but actually he rarely consumed alcohol. When he did take a drink during the Vendetta ride, it was a notable event. In fact, it wasn't alcohol at all that was his primary vice, it was ice cream. There was even an ice cream parlor in Tombstone called the Ice Cream Saloon, and that's where Earp really liked to spend his time. Truth, it turns out, truly is stranger than fiction. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel! and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.